I'm 27 years old, never kissed a girl on the lips before, which of course means I'm a virgin, which of course means I've never had a girlfriend before, never dated anyone before, and um, it kills me. I'm not going to lie. It does kill me a lot. It hurts me a lot on the inside because it feels like every single day I see couples that are my age. What is up everyone? My name is C. Welcome to the C Talks channel. If you are new, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right. Let's get into it. I played you guys that clip at the beginning of a 27-year-old virgin venting, sad, upset, and I have a lot to say about this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this young man is 27, has never kissed a girl, he's a virgin, never had a girlfriend, and has never dated anyone. What do I have to say about this? Let's see. I think... Most men can identify with what this guy is going through. I know I can. So me personally, I struggled with dating in my teens and late teens. I'm a millennial, so I'm 36. I'm probably older than quite a few people that watch my YouTube videos. But I struggled with dating too. And I can identify with this guy. I can sympathize. However... I gotta be brutally honest with him, which is what I'm going to be soon in a little while. Just stay tuned for that. I was a nerd in my early teens. I was smart. I was good in school. I got good grades. And then I hit puberty. Between the ages of 14 to 18, I wasn't super motivated to do good in school. I started to become a little cooler. So I was 14 in 2002. That, that's a whole different generation, guys, than most of you young guys growing up now. I dressed baggier. Hip hop was super popular in those days. Rap, rap music. Uh, think Nelly. Think Eminem. We had rap. We had hip hop. We had reggae, dance hall, reggaeton. We had, it was just a different time. Guys, us guys, we all dressed like rappers, artists. Think basketball hats. Think big baggy t-shirts, huge jeans, Air Force Ones. Oh my God, I had a bunch of Air Force Ones. Little by little in that time, I started to do things like talk to girls. It wasn't uncommon. I'm talking 2002 to 2006. It wasn't uncommon for you to, after school, hang out with a chick from your last class, walk home together. I grew up in New York, by the way. In my teens... 16 to 19, I had braces, which sucked because braces really took a lot of my confidence away. I remember the first time I kissed a girl with braces on. That freaking sucked. I felt like I had this thing between me and the girl that I was kissing. And I said, man, I can't wait till I get these off. Let's fast forward to me being 19 and 20 and more than that. I figured it out when it came to women and how to get girls and how to get dates and attract the opposite sex. Here's how I did it. I got my braces taken off. I got in really good shape. I'm talking really cut, muscular, and a six-pack. And I stayed like that for a really long time in my early 20s. I was in really good shape. I dressed better. I shopped a lot. I invested in good clothing. It's something that a lot of guys can do to improve their attractiveness. Dress better, get in shape. Those two get you really far. So what else did I do to make myself more attractive to the opposite sex? I approached women. The person that really helped me with approaching women was, I think he, I think he was 36 at the time. So through a friend of mine, I met an older guy who became a good friend of mine in my early 20s, who was, I think, 36, 37, or 38, and recently divorced. And his whole thing was going out, approaching women, meeting women in bars and clubs in New York. And I went out with him a lot. I literally remember from the moment I was legal enough to go out to drink, 21, I think I spent that year just going out to bars and clubs almost every weekend. It made me dress well. I had to always go out as a 21-year-old with a dress shirt, nice jeans, nice shoes. 
you had the approach. You had to talk to women in bars and clubs and it was loud and you had to learn how to socialize and break the ice in a group. You know, I'm not a cold approach nerd. I'm not. I'm not going to talk to you guys about like keno and whatever, negging and all this other stuff. It was just talking to women and it was invaluable experience that I got as a 21 year old. I'm going to put a picture up of me with a girl that I met. And what, let me stop for a second. And I didn't just cold approach in bars and clubs with this 36 year old guy, I think 36, who I met through a friend. I cold approached everywhere. I cold approached in college on my campus. I would just walk around and if I saw a girl that I thought was cute, I would try to find a way to have a conversation with her. And back then it wasn't weird to talk to a person of the opposite sex on a college campus. Maybe it helped that I was in shape and I looked good and I was dressing well. And I didn't care and I had almost no shame, which is something that I'm so thankful for because I got a ton of experience with women. I was so fearless at one point that I asked out five girls from the same class, five of my classmates. They didn't all say yes. I think maybe two of them said yes, but I asked out five girls from the same class. That's how much I was into approaching. And it was cool. And it helped me break out of my shell. Cold approach helped me work on my communication skills, which is something that I think is lost in today's young men. Men don't know how to socialize. I say a lot of young men wouldn't be able to approach a young woman in a bar, in a club, in a supermarket, in a public place, in a tactful, socially acceptable, smooth manner. I don't think they would be able to. I'm so thankful for that period in my life. I'm super thankful because I broke out of my shell and I became something else. And I was super proud of what I became. It wasn't easy, right? We're looking at this guy who's 27 years old, he's a virgin, and he doesn't have a girlfriend, and he has a long way to go. And I'm going to give him some feedback on things that he could probably do to improve his situation. So if we look at this guy, there are things that he just has to work on to make himself more attractive. He needs to work on physical appearance. He needs to get in shape. He looks super out of shape. He needs to work on dressing better. He's wearing a red bandana a shirt that I would never wear, the glasses need to go, he doesn't look confident, he needs a better style of hair, and he needs to groom his mustache and his beard better. He needs to work on these things, or else you're going to remain in the exact same place where you are. Let's talk more about his energy. In the video, if you look at him and the way he speaks, his communication style, he gives off a lot of nervous energy. Yeah, and then I just can't get girls, and then girls don't. Even, like, listen to my voice changing to try to imitate and mimic him. My voice changed from being confident and masculine to being more, like, soft, and I'm not sure of... I can't even... I honestly can't even talk like that because I don't... It feels weird to me, but I'm imitating him. Let's talk a bit more about things that he can do to improve his situation, right? He needs to work on style, dress better, grooming, get a different haircut that's more attractive, that looks better on your face, get better glasses, get in shape, learn how to articulate confidently and speak with confidence, which is a skill that you're not going to hone at home playing video games and playing guitar. You do this in the real world. Go out, talk to people, socialize, hang out, make friends. You need to do these things or else you're going to stay home recording videos in front of your computer or in front of your phone and uploading them to YouTube and you're still going to be in the same place. I say this as a person that was there and is not there anymore. Working on yourself is not easy. I think in life you can either be a victim or you can be proactive in your life. It's too easy to be a victim. I've said this before in other videos. I could, if I wanted to, just record YouTube videos complaining about my life, the problems that I have in my life, venting, etc., etc., yada, yada, yada. I don't do that because I know that A, it would be a waste of time, and B, I don't like telling the world my problems because the world isn't going to solve my problems. I'm going to solve my problems. So me venting on YouTube is something that you guys will never see me do. Let's continue. 
So let's play another part of his video that I also want to react to. Play the clip. I didn't even think that this video would be about this because all I was gonna do in this video was talk about how much, um, just talk about how upset I am that I can't get a girlfriend and instead I end up talking about talking about my failure with the my failure with the with the only woman that I truly fell in love with and we're back I can sympathize with this guy I know what it's like to be late teens don't know how to get a girl don't know how to talk to a girl don't know what to do in situations to attract women but you have to put yourself out there you have to be proactive. Chris Williamson said this in a video of his that I saw that I reacted to. He said that maybe approaching women has always been hard. And hey, it's super hard. Don't get me wrong. It is super hard to approach women in public. I still do it and rejection hurts and it's painful, but it's always been this way. For the men out there that want to live this life of comfort, never be rejected, Everything is a sure bet and you only go for a girl just because she shows you signs that she likes you. No, sometimes you have to go out there and, and see what happens. It's happened to me. I've had situations in my life where I had no idea if a girl liked me or not until I went up, talked to her, asked for her number and asked her out. Had no idea. No idea. Yeah, a lot of times... It didn't work. I didn't get her phone number. She ignored me. She didn't text me back. But you don't think of the failures. You think of the successes. When you look back, I don't think of all my failures. I wouldn't have enough memory in my mind to store every single time that I failed. Just fail. Keep going. But that requires fortitude. That requires courage, resilience. It's a thing that I think a lot of guys don't cultivate in front of a screen. You're watching this in front of a screen, a tablet, a phone, a computer. You're not out there in the real world exposing yourself to real world situations. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I think men can become better, stronger, good leaders, become resilient. I've talked about this before. It's very sad that a lot of young men aren't dating and aren't putting themselves out there. I think relationships are one way that young men develop into grown men. Having relationships, having a partner, knowing what being with a woman is like. But sadly, we live in this world where dating is topsy-turvy, men approaching women is taboo, men and women are being divided purposely if you ask me, but that's a video for another day. Let's recap. So I played you guys that clip of that young man who is disappointed, frustrated, upset at his current situation, but there are things that he can do to improve his situation. Get in shape, dress better, go to the gym, do a martial art, learn boxing, jujitsu, Muay Thai, something. Work on your confidence. Don't just spend all your time playing video games and playing guitar in your house. Go out into the real world. There's a lot to learn and you'll never stop learning and never stop improving yourself. I'd rather be the guy that goes out there and tries and fails and fails and fails than the guy that doesn't try at all. It's hard. So what? You have to try. You either try or... You're a victim and that doesn't help you get anywhere in life because if I'm a victim, right? If I have a victim mentality, maybe I would do what this guy does and make a video so a bunch of people see it and maybe give me pity, but he's not. And I'm being a bit harsh here, but it's the truth. He needs to look for solutions and be proactive and try to work on himself, not just make a video about his current situation. Those are my two cents. Get out there. And that is all I have to say. Thank you to everybody who watched this video. I'll be back with more videos next week. If you liked this video, you'll also like this other video up on the screen. Catch you guys soon.